Hi guys, welcome back to the class VM and uh, myself Mr. Bilal. In the previous video, we have discussed about uh, what Lamarckism and Darwinism and the various theories of the evolution. Now, in this video, we will discuss about some evidences of the evolution. What are some concrete evidence of the evolution? So, some evidence of evolution are there. One of the common examples of uh, the evidences of the evolution is the homologous organs or homology. So, what is homology? What is homologous organ? Homologous organs are those organs which are similar. Homo means same, same organs. Those organs which are similar in different organisms, there are some organs which are similar but which are adapted differently according to the prevailing condition but their basic fundamental pattern is same. They are modified differently according to the prevailing conditions. So these are the homologous organs, the process called homology. So how could you define the homology? A homology is the similarity between the organs of different animal groups. Similarity between the organs, it means that there are some different animals, but they have a varied function. Their function is modified. These, it is adapted according to the prevailing condition, but they are made on the same basic fundamental pattern. Their ancestor is same. First case is we have a limb structure. In case of the humans, the structure is similar, but function is different. In case we have grasping, limb of the horse is for running. We have limbs, but that's not for running. That's for grasping. But uh, horses have limbs. Limbs of horse. Limbs of horse, that is running. Limbs of humans, grasping. Then it is for flight. Then flippers. Then flippers. Whale sharks for swimming. What is homology? It is the similarity between the organs of different animal groups, but they have similarity between the organs such as uh, you know the limb structure limb structure of horse and limb structure of humans similarly limb structure of bat and limb structure of uh, you know flippers the limbs of the flipper are modified for swimming because they live in the water limbs of the human human it is for grasping but limbs of the horse it is for running so function is different but they have similarity between the organs. Organs are similar, but functions are different. This is the homology or homologous organ. Similarly, analogs are organs are different among different animal groups, but they perform the same function. This is analogous. What is homology? Similarity between the organs of different animal groups perform different functions, but they are made on the base similar uh, fundamental pattern. Fundamental pattern is, but function is different. Like limb of horse for running, limb for uh, you know uh, human is for grasping, limb of bat is for flight, and flippers among dolphins, uh, among in sharks, whales, it is for swimming. So this is the homology or homologous organ. Uh, if you see the analogous structure, analogous structure is comparatively different than a homologous organ. Most uh, common example apart from limb structure is also uh, in case of homologous organs or homology that is the mouth parts of the insects. There are different mouth parts in the insects. If you see in the cockroach, they have different mouth parts. If you see in the housefly, if you see in the similar mouth parts, but performing extremely different functions. So, uh, this is about the homologous structure. So, homologous organs are completely different uh, compared to the analogous organ or analogy. What is analogous organ? I will write it here. Uh, what is analogous organ? Analogous organ means that organs, analogous organ, analogous organ or analogy, analogous organs are similar in the appearance and they are also similar in the function. It means that those organs those have similar structure and similar function but build are different fundamental pattern fundamental pattern so what are analogous organs or analogy analogous organs are those organs 
which are similar in structure and similar in function as well. You will see a group of animals, a group of organisms having similar structure. They have a similar function as well, but they are built on different fundamental pattern. Their fundamental pattern is not same. Their fundamental pattern is different. It means that they have different ancestor. They could not have, they cannot have same ancestor. Where the ancestor is same, fundamental pattern is same. But where the ancestor is different, fundamental pattern would be different. They have modified their structures. They are, they are not common ancestor, but they are, they are modified their structure in order to live in that very uh, environment. Suppose in an environment, 100 species live and their environmental temperature is same, uh, rainfall is same and each and every other, uh, you know, factors, abiotic as well as abiotic factors are similar. 100 different individuals are living here. They will develop similar characters in order to live in that very environment, simple as that. They don't have common ancestor, but they have developed some characters which are similar in all the species, in all the individuals of that species, so that they can live in that very environment. This is the analog structure. Analogy, this is the analogy. Analogy means, or analog structures means, that those organisms which, who have different, you know, uh, ancestor, their ancestor is different, but they have a similar structure and they have a similar function as well. One of the common examples is, Wings are bad, wings are bad, and birds, and insects. The wings of insects are modified for flying. Birds, uh, wings are flying. Wings are bad are being flying. But bird is a mammal, and insect is orthopod, it's an orthopod. So, they have different ancestors, but they have a similar structure, similar uh, character. It is a wings for flying. Here is a wings for flying, here is a wings for flying, but this is mammal and this is an insect. So they are living in a, in that, uh, you know, environment where conditions are similar and they have developed their, uh, you know, characters accordingly. They have developed their characters, their characters are very similar and in order to live in that, in that very environment, these are called the analogous organs and the process called the analogy. So this is the difference between homologous as well as analogous. Uh, are in this are analogy. Thank you very much.